So your airsoft shoots all over the place, then this is the right video for you, hopefully. Hi, welcome to this channel. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your airsoft's accuracy and consistency. This will be a very simple uh, video. If you have any question or you have another uh, method to do this, you can put it in the comment section and let me know. Uh, I will use this M4AG as the base platform because it is the most popular platform for airsofters. But you can do this uh, step to another platform, for example, like GBBR, Spring Sniper Rifle, or HPA. Okay, now let me start. First, I'm going to start from the hop up rubber or the hop up bucking. So, this is your hop up bucking. This plays a very important role to your accuracy and consistency. So you want to make sure that you have a very good quality, uh, I mean good quality uh, hop up bucking. You want to make sure that the internal is still in a good shape. In order to do that, you can inspect from this side. Uh, you can see it from here, make sure that the mount is still in a good condition. If it is not, you need to uh, replace the bucking. Uh, that simple and next you want to make sure that you have a good air seal uh, You can use electrical tape wrap around the bucking to Eliminate the air leak between the hop-up rubber to the inner bell and also hop-up rubber to the chamber By doing this you will not uh, have an FPS reduction because of uh, this and next I want to talk about the hop-ups uh, the rubbers placement so you want to make sure that your bucking is seated at 12 o'clock to the inner barrel in order to shoot straight. Uh, actually, you can uh, check this by put everything back together again, go to the field, bring your airsoft and uh, do some shots. If your airsoft shoots to the left or to the right all the time, then you need to twist your inner barrel from your chamber a little bit and you put it back and you test it again until you find uh, the straight trajectory from your airsoft Test burst. by doing this step you will uh, improve your airsoft's performance a lot especially when the hop up is seated at 12 o'clock Okay, next I want to talk about the chamber. I believe there are some good uh, chamber designs. And this is the first design for the M4 or the V2 gearbox. So uh, when you shoot, there will be some vibrations of course, and it will uh, create a little movement to the wheels. And you don't want this to happen because uh, if it happens, uh, you will uh, change your hop-up setting you can put a uh, o-ring right over here or spacer in order to eliminate the movement of the wheel that's for the first gen of the cham m4 chamber as an alternative i suggest you to have a rotary chamber for your m4 or you can uh, actually buy a tdc chamber for your sniper rifle spring sniper rifle this is a better design because the wheel uh, won't move if you shoot even it is stiffer than the the first design chamber you you actually don't need to buy the metal uh, chamber you can use the plastic one it is fine it still works and you need to make sure uh, the adjustment wheel also a good quality uh, a good chamber means that you can change the setting a little bit in order to give a small increase or decrease to your hop up and uh, that is good okay next is the inner barrel you want to make sure that your inner barrel is clean and there's no damage inside the inner barrel don't use uh, metal bb's it will uh, destroy your inner barrel so you can clean the inner barrel by using the cleaning rod you can see the tutorial uh, in this channel there's one video and I'll put that in the description if I haven't you can remind me and uh, 
next is about the inner barrels uh, stabilization you want to make sure that uh, there is no wobble okay let me show you uh, okay this is the outer barrel and here is the inner barrel okay uh, pay attention to this you don't want to have a wobble or movement from up to down left to right okay you don't want uh, your inner barrel to move so in order to eliminate the wobble you can use a tape like this put it inside the outer barrel not the inner barrel the outer barrel don't put it too much and you put everything back together again make sure that the wobble is uh, minimized by doing this step you will uh, increase your consistency a uh, lot because uh, the wobble of the inner barrel has a great effect to your uh, performance airsoft's performance uh, next I'm going to talk about the outer barrel you need to make sure that the barrel nut is tightened properly in order to reduce the wobble you can test this by moving your outer barrel to your uh, receiver if this uh, moves it should back to its location its first location I mean when you move this it doesn't move back it means that you need to tighten the barrel nut okay that is very important make sure you check your uh, outer barrel too and the last thing that you need to do is uh, actually you need to use a good quality BBs Okay, a good quality BBs uh, weight from 0.25 or heavier. I don't recommend you to play using 0.12 or 0.2, even it's in CQB, because uh, you need to have uh, at least 0.25 gram BBs to have a great uh, performance for your airsoft. And maybe there are still another factors from the gearbox. You want to make sure that uh, it has a great uh, seal inside you want to make sure that the piston head the seal, uh, the nozzle everything is in the right position everything has a good seal for HPA you want to make sure that the o-ring are in a good condition and so on so uh, probably there are another factors but you want to make sure that these factors the inner barrel, outer barrel, uh, the chamber, the hopper buckings, they are all in, in the good conditions first because uh, they are easy to maintain or easy to uh, manipulate with this. So okay, I think that's all for today's video. Uh, if you have any question, put it in the comment section and thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.